So, <clears throat> why is methamphetamine so addictive? Why? I'm sure there might be some chemical reasons and uh, whatever that I'm, you know, somebody can answer better than myself. That I don't know. But I can tell you why, in my opinion. Why methamphetamine is so addictive is because it's fucking awesome. It's a great fucking fun drug at first. And I'm not here to promote or whitewash methamphetamine at all because it does destroy lives and it is highly addictive. It's very addictive because it's a feeling of euphoria. It's an anti-instant depressant. You know, and I mean a real, it's, it's the best antidepressant in the world that I've ever seen or heard of or tried. It's, um, you know, instead of taking a pill that may or may not, probably not work anyway, or slightly work, it takes weeks to kick in, right? Here's something that will, you know, here's something that's an instant, instant, bam, having a bad day, do a little meth, you know, I mean, it's, it's instant. We're talking within a few minutes, you're good to go. Um, gives you a lot of energy, don't have to sleep as much, which is nice. Again, all this has consequences, so I'm not whitewashing meth, I'm not encouraging or trying to support the use of methamphetamine, because it is highly addictive, and it does have its, you know, pros and cons, and the cons are pretty severe. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not having to sleep is nice, get a lot more done, at least you think you can, until you start doing a lot of meth every day, and you can't focus, and you get really bad ADHD, or you get really bad OCD, either way, it takes you five times longer to do anything anymore. But at first, it's a little different, at first it's really stimulating, it stimulates your mind, um, stimulate how much your output is, that again will collapse on itself as as you start doing more and more and more because there's a threshold, uh, which everybody crosses if they are a regular user. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a aphrodisiac. It stimulates the libido um, big time, uh, men and women. So there's that. Um, shit, I'm trying else to think. I mean... What's 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 uh, not to like about something that can instantly not only be an aphrodisiac but an antidepressant and give you a lot of energy and you don't have to sleep, at least not as much. You know, when I was doing meth for you know regularly over ten years ago, there was a year where I only slept every other day. Like literally, I slept every other day for a year. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not a doctor, but I'm sure that's not healthy. You know, I mean, you know, the, the, we all know the side effects of meth. We all see the people walking down the streets, digging through the trash cans, sores on their bodies and shit like that. Those are usually people that shoot meth. There is a big difference between how you do meth. Um, snorting meth, smoking meth, and shooting meth are the main, main ways. I mean, you can also ingest it, stick up your ass if you want. But, you know, mainly those are the main ways. Smoking is probably the most common, and then snorting and then shooting. Shooting is by far the most harmful. Um, I can, I can tell, I can look at somebody, and if they, they do meth, I can tell, and if they, if they shoot meth, I can tell, too, if they've been doing it for a while. Uh, there's certain really bad aging things. Shooting meth is just, it, shooting any drug is a really bad idea, just because, you know, if you take it, if you snort it, or you eat it, or you smoke it, it has to go through these filters, right? Your lungs, you know, if you eat it, it goes through your, your digestive system, whatever, right? There's filters before it goes right into your bloodstream, right? <clears throat> at least, you know. A lot of it, you know, and so when you're doing meth or any drug, it's if you're shooting it, it's just, it, it may hit you quicker, it may be more intense, which is why people shoot it, and people get addicted to the, the ritual of shooting, tying themselves up and shooting, they get, they get addicted to the needle, too, which is a big part of it, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it destroys people a lot faster, it's sad, you know, you just watch somebody that I cared about once very much, within a year, uh, basically go from, you know, here down to here and give up everything it's it's not a good thing but um that's through the needle you know it's just uh yeah you know what can you do though but um yeah back on topic you know i'm not encouraging people to try meth i wouldn't because almost everybody that does likes it a lot and it's really cool and then you think you can manage it you think you're just going to do a little after work or a little on the weekends this and that just like cocaine cocaine's a really great drug why because it's fucking awesome it also takes people down you know um but meth is so cheap, that's why it's more prevalent. It's just because it's, cocaine's expensive. Meth is that fucking cheap, you know? I mean, 20 bucks of meth, at least in San Diego, the last few days, you know? I mean, so it's like, you know, whereas 20 bucks of cocaine will last few hours. So, I mean, there you go. You know, meth is the poor man's cocaine, as you say. But, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm not encouraging it. Don't do it. Drugs are bad, okay? Um, stick to psychedelics. If you have to do drugs, because that's relatively harmless, as far as I know.
MTV Big Ben.